sorry, your call cannot be completed as dialed or the number has been disconnected. Please check the number and dial again. Huh. Seems that it's hard to find the phone number for Discovery Channel, just like it is for YouTube. Um, trying to find a phone number for the Discovery Channel that is a network for TV. This is Discovery Channel. Okay, I got an email today that looked a little bit suspicious, and I just wanted to uh, confirm the email with the Discovery Channel before I replied to it because I'm an entertainer on YouTube, and it, I'm sure that it's probably maybe common practice for uh, producers or some kind of maybe somebody from the Discovery Channel to try to contact YouTube entertainers to uh, maybe. I don't know, get some kind of deal going with us. Um, could I uh, give you this guy's email information and see if you can run it through your system and check and see if he is... What is his name? Okay, let me go back to my uh, inbox and I'll tell you exactly what he says. Uh, his name is Jay... with me and uh, says sorry to bother you but I sent an email to your website but wanted to make sure you got it I work for Discovery TV and wanted to get in touch with you do you have time to talk today thanks a bunch and then he's got his contact information below did you say what office he's working out of it does not say anything besides that and then 323 323-203-5422 I just don't call back anybody, you know what I'm saying? Now, spell that last name for me. C O, or excuse me, C A R O C A R O L L O. L L. What is this? L L what? O. O. Yeah. Corolla. Corolla or something like that. It really doesn't look like a too. Uh, it's not very a business um, type of uh, email. Not, not in our system. Let me transfer you down to our home office, okay? Okay, thank you. Hello. Hello. I was transferred here from a, a different number, I guess. Uh, I've got an email. Or actually, I've got a message on my YouTube channel. I'm an entertainer, and I got a message from somebody that's trying to represent you and wants me to get in touch with them. Okay, uh, do you have the contact name? Yes, the contact name is JC C uh, JC underscore C A R O L L O at discovery dot com. I just like to confirm this with you before I contact this person. The director of talent development here. Okay. Would you like me to transfer you to him? Yes, please. Okay, one moment. Thank you. Wow. You may enter it at any time. Hello? Hello. Um, his extension doesn't seem to be working right now, but um, okay. is he? You said you had his email address. Well, I got a, I got a instant or maybe a private message. You would call it through my YouTube channel, uh -huh. and it didn't really look very professional. That's why I was calling to check up on it before I contacted him uh, directly okay. through his email or this phone number. Uh, okay. Well, I, I do see him in my directory. Okay. Can, can you confirm that his phone that number? Can you confirm his phone number is three? that I have as well. Okay, so this guy is really working for Discovery. Okay, well, I guess I need to give him a call and get in touch with him because maybe he wants to recruit, recruit me for some kind of a, a reality show. All right. Awesome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
the fuck is up with that shit? Well, folks, I guess there ain't but one thing left to do. Let's call this number this guy gave me. Be right back once it's dialed. Here we go. Maybe I'm gonna become a movie star. Hello? Uh, JC, please? <laughs> Telephone's breaking up. I can't understand. Uh, hello? Got disconnected. Just as I expected. This whole thing's probably a scam. Somebody has probably set up a whole damn phone system that looks like Discovery Channel or Discovery TV. I don't know. Let me call him back real quick. I couldn't. Hear, I couldn't tell what they said. Could you? They calling me back. Somebody's calling me back. Hello. Hi, this is Jason from Discovery. Do you think I just got a call? Yes. Um. Uh, I got an email, or actually, I got a private message from uh, JC Carallo on my uh, on my J on my uh, YouTube channel today. Oh yes, what's your name? I just got your your YouTube. Excuse me. This is the Redneck Gun Wild guy, right? Yes, it is. How are you? I'm okay. I just got done drinking a big tall glass of whiskey before I saw your message, so <laughs> I don't know if it's actually the, the perfect time to be calling about a uh, a business call or anything, but I assume this is a business call. What's up? Well, you know, it's 5 o'clock somewhere, right? <laughs> yep. It actually, it's 2.30. I, I work for um, Discovery. I, you know, somebody was watching that video, and then at the end of the video, you mentioned Discovery. And I was just like, wait a minute, is this guy already on a Discovery show? I'm like, I don't, I can't find anything about it. Well, I, I, I watch Discovery, and uh, a lot of times when I'm doing my videos, I like to mention, you know, what I'm going to do, what I'm doing, or what I've been doing, just to keep my fans up to date on, you know, what I'm, what's up with me. And uh, a lot of times I'll sign off with saying, okay, well, I'm going to go hang up now, go watch Discovery Channel or whatever, you know. So... I have not been approached to do anything on TV yet. With two million hits on YouTube, am I the first person that found you? Hallelujah. I don't. I guess you are the first person that's found me. A, a bunch of uh, YouTube networks, as they so call it, have have approached me to sign up with their networks, and that's just pretty much advertising uh, yeah. stuff. But I haven't gone with them. I'm totally independent. I haven't signed any contracts with anybody. Well, here's okay. So here's what I do, and here's what I was researching, and this is how I found you. So we're um, the production arm of Discovery. So, yeah, you know, we create for all the Discovery networks, Discovery, TLC, the Science Channel, you know, there's like 13 channels, Destination America. I love it. And it's my job just to kind of find, um, you know, family businesses, uh, people that we can create shows around. I also do, you know, the celebrities, the hosts, and, you know, the experts for our shows. But really, my, my main job is to find, you know, people that we think would make good TV. Yeah, go out there and recruit uh, new shows, something that would be yeah. popular and uh, people would around the world or maybe around the country at least would like. So here's what I was researching. Okay. I, you know, I was thinking about like all the different shows that are up right now. It seems like everybody wants comedy, right? Right. And I was just like, you know, you know that show Duck Dynasty? Yes, I do. <laughs> so people love that show. And basically it's just a family that sells like these duck callers, right? Yeah. So... I was thinking, you know, we were trying to find small businesses, and I'm just like, you know what? Who is the koozie king, or who who makes koozies? <laughs> <laughs> and I was on YouTube researching koozies, and that's how I found you. That's how you found me. I I actually, I'm a I'm a one man per one man show. I make YouTube movies. I uh, obviously I make my money from Google AdSense from doing the YouTube right. videos, and I sent off through eBay and got all these koozies printed up with my YouTube channel on it. 
to try to kind of promote my YouTube channel. And I would go out to these mud bogging events where, you know, Rednecks Gone Wild is at these mud mudding events. And I would pass koozies out because what's better for a redneck than a koozie to put his beer in? Exactly. And it's got my website on it. So uh, it was kind of like a promotional item that I had got one time. And since then, I've moved on to T-shirts and stickers and uh, actually I've gotten a, a bunch of cups which my icon, my, my icon or my trademark, I guess, on YouTube is a blue cup because I'm always drinking out of a blue cup, just like uh, Cy on Duck Dynasty. <laughs> oh, my God, that's so amazing. Where are, you, where are you in Florida? I'm in Niceville, Florida. Niceville? Yep, I'm about an, at, well, maybe about 45 minutes uh, west of Panama City. Okay. I'm right on the coast near Destin. Oh, you're near Destin. I was just there last year. Yep. Other place, you ever go to uh, Florida? Oh yes, I love Florida. Yeah. I I used to actually live in Pensacola, so uh, Florida was a lot closer, and we used to go over there for the mullet toss, the mullet uh, mullet yeah, festival. I, <laughs> I love those guys. I was interviewing uh, the owners of the bar. They're they're, they're nice, you know, nice gentlemen. Oh yeah, <laughs> great place to party. So who, um, do you have a family that's close by? Do you, like, do you have a lot of family and friends? Uh, most of my f friends, uh, most of my family is, is, um, well, I've got, family is spread out, but my friends are all close by in this area, um, between Pensacola and, uh, there's a big off-road park that I attend events at up in Alabama it's about an hour I guess away from here and mm -hmm. um let me just give you a little I guess I should give you an autobiography huh <laughs> yeah yeah give me the story about myself okay I'm a drapery installer I uh, uh -huh. I install window treatments in new homes and condos down here on the coast and that's uh also in con conjunction with my YouTube videos so between both of them, I'm almost paying all the bills, you know, um, <laughs> and it keeps me going. It keeps me, it gives me enough money to go to the next event to where I do a lot of, uh, mud bogging and off-road events for my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And, uh, when I'm not doing the events, I'm installing window treatments. So, and I'm a subcontractor at that. I, I work for myself and I have a... a What's your name? I'm so sorry. My name is Kevin Regan. Kevin Regan, okay. Kevin got Regan. It. I'm 43 years old, and I'm a hillbilly. <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually, I'm just a southern redneck. A, a hillbilly is probably a little different than a redneck. So, but I'm just a, I'm just a good old boy. You know, it's funny because I'm working from home today, and my boyfriend's actually his family's from like Shreveport and then Houston, and yeah. he was working in the other office, and I was watching your video, and he's like, "What are you watching?" He's like, "That sounds like my family." <laughs> <laughs> what video were you watching? We were watching the one uh, about the koozies. You just got the koozies in, and you're just like, "Go to my website." You okay. Go to my website. <laughs> yeah. So I was like opening the box of koozies, showing everybody that they were going to be available at my next event or whatever. Yeah. Cool. How, how are the, like, the koozie sales going? I mean, do people seem interested? Well, the koozies, uh, really, I didn't end up selling them. I ended up just giving them away. And they went within about eight hours. They were gone. I just passed them all out. And it did good. It promoted my website a lot, and I got a lot more views on my YouTube, uh, a lot more subscribers, and in turn, that increased my income. Right. So. But it seems like Excuse me? No, go on, go on, sorry. Uh, I was done. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, it seems like you have like, a lot of people watching your videos, so it sounds like you have a lot of fans from these events, and you know, you're building and building. Yep. I mean, do you think that would be like the next step, like if you wanted to become, you know, just like start a business, kind of like a small business, you know, with not only the website, but like selling your product? I don't know really if my product is... A t-shirt and a koozie but I think my product is more likely my video uh, mm -hmm. you know the video and the entertainment that I bring to people that aren't able to make it to those events mm -hmm. and I go out there to these events and I just I have a good time 
just like the rest of the people there and uh i camp on site in a tent just like everybody else and i get muddy and ride four wheelers and uh but the only difference in me is i'm holding a camera the whole time right and i'm documenting <laughs> it and i'm putting it on youtube and are you married or what's your I'm, family I'm, I'm single i've never been married and i have no kids are you married? Is a girlfriend? No, no, I am totally unattached. How's the talent down there? Are you looking or you're not interested? <laughs> uh, do you mean like if I'm looking for for a, a significant other? Yeah, are you, are you looking for a girlfriend? No, I'm not really interested right now. I mean, it, uh, if it happens, it happens. That'd be great, but I don't care. <laughs> Fun. I mean, my younger days, I had so much fun in my younger days. I think I've had enough for everybody. Oh, my goodness. It's just, it's been, it's been. Tell me about the friends that go with you to these events. Uh, a lot of the people that go with me to these events are good old boys and uh, good old girls. and um, We just, we like to party down. You know, we, sure. we drink and we party. <laughs> we ride four wheelers, we go mud bogging and, um. Uh, we just like to get loose and have a good time. I love it. That sounds like a good life right there. It, it's, it, I live a really good life, and, and my life is probably more better, more better than most of my friends' lives because they probably, uh, most of the people that I hang out with got eight to five, nine to five jobs or whatever. And, you know, me doing what I do, working for myself, I, I just do whatever I want when I want. If I don't want to go to work, I won't schedule a job that day. Right. So I pretty much just go by my own. <laughs> uh, Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yeah, I have a sister that lives here locally, and she's a, a realtor. Um, mm -hmm. I have a brother in Birmingham, Alabama. He's a coder. For, he, he does web uh, applications or I guess um, what, what you call it. He, he, uh, he's a computer. He writes computer programs. Sure. And I have another brother that lives in uh, New Hampshire, and I can—I don't think I can tell you what he does. <laughs> I'm not sure what he does to tell you the truth. So he, you know, we're kind of out of touch. What's your sister like? She's just like me. <laughs> She's awesome. I'd love to get both of you on Skype next week. Do you think that's possible? Um, I will have to talk to her about that and see, uh, with her profession, I don't know if she would even be interested in becoming, having something to do with a discovery with any TV or anything. Um, I don't know. It's something, that was, it's something just in the, the beginning phases. I think we're, you know, still looking to see kind of, you know, what we're looking for, but I definitely think there's something in finding either like a family business. You're thinking about maybe a, a, a reality a reality show on uh, some kind of a some, um, maybe a, a TV show on something that has to do with somebody that's obviously interesting and entertaining. Mm -hmm. But there has to be something. Well, so, <laughs> well thank you very much. <laughs> um, uh, now I have to tell you the truth. Uh, a lot of this entertainment that I provide is alcohol induced. Well, that's fine. <laughs> okay, okay. <All> right. <laughs> that's 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 the honest God truth because most of the time I turn my camera on and film myself, especially when I'm doing the vlog and I'm I'm facing the camera, is uh, when I've had a couple of drinks. It loosens me up and uh, you know it helps me helps me talk. I'm sure most people on TV have had a few drinks. Haven't we seen some of that, the TV shows that are out there now? <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> they tell me that that's iced tea in size cup, but I don't believe it. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> it looks the color of whiskey, too. How far are you from, like, Longview, Texas? That's not that far, is it? Uh, Longview, Texas. I'm not sure. Where's Longview? What's, what's the big city close to that? It's near Shreveport. Shreveport, Louisiana? Yeah. Uh, shoot. Louisiana's probably, or, I mean, uh, New Orleans is probably four hours from where I'm at. Oh, God, okay. So I was sending a producer out next week to Shreveport, so I'm like, maybe they can come see you. Well, why don't we do this? I mean, I, I think, 
you know, what you're doing is, is interesting. I, I think, you know, you're a great character. You're fun to watch. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd, I'd love to see who or the other people kind of are in your life, you know? Uh-huh. Um, and, you know, we'll take it step by step. I, I think, you know, there's a show there, you know, with what you do and, and the koozies, you know? And for some reason, I think... You know, people will find that entertaining and fun. And, and, and the koozies you know, could be a marketing aspect of the whole thing, yeah. and everybody would probably want to buy a koozie, and then it would balloon from there for different merchandise I mean, from yeah, the show. Yeah, if you have a hit TV show, everyone will be going to, to your website to buy the koozies, you know? <laughs> exactly. Right. Well, I don't have any That's more not, koozies. I'm, I'm, those guys on, like, American Chopper and everything, I mean, yeah, they make tons of money from the TV show, but it's also well, you know, their T-shirt sales. As well. I'm out of all the, the koozies, but I think if I were to make a deal with y'all, then that would all be licensed through Discovery Channel, right? And y'all would uh, y'all would benefit from the the uh, the sales of all no, the different merchandise. That would be your business. We'd be following your business. Oh. You know? Okay. So, well. Yeah, hmm. it would be just like you know we're like a fly on the wall, and, and we're kind of following you through whatever. You as I build my do, as I build my um, business and. Become a bigger fish, <laughs> you know. But I think you know it's, it's definitely there's something there, and you know I'm researching more and more into this koozie stuff. And well, who knows, you know? that's a good idea. Um, let me get your uh, contact information. Oh, I got oh, I got your phone number, of course. But uh, did you want to uh, hook up on Skype or something? Maybe I should just ask my sister about doing the Skype thing. And then if she's willing to do that, then I can call you back and let you know. Uh, yeah, what's your, um, what's your email, too? Hey, K R E G. Yeah, we're always looking for family businesses. You know, like family businesses, and you know, I, again, like I think you're such a great character. So I'd love to show my team and hear your videos if that's okay. Yeah. And you know, we can kind of brainstorm. And you know, but again, like I'd love to just you know find out more about your life and you know, see if we can Skype meet you with your sister and yeah. see if there's anything that we can create around you guys. Well, let me. Uh, that's awesome. That's wonderful. I mean, that's that's cool. I'm I'm right up in front of the camera, and I don't mind about that one bit. Uh. But let me just throw something at you that I was thinking about. I was watching something the other day, and I said, this would make a great, great TV show or a reality okay. show, Becoming Homeless. Take a person that is, take, take a person that is in an everyday uh, white-collar job, and they lose their job or something, and because of the whole economy, economy downfall, they lose their job, they get foreclosed on in their house, and they become homeless and just document everything from them becoming homeless to everything that they have to do to work their way back up to becoming a homeowner again and being uh, off the streets. I mean, follow them. Like season one will be them becoming homeless. Season two would be them completely homeless and having to go through the steps to find food and shelter and all that. And then maybe season three would be them getting back on their feet and, uh, you know, bettering themselves. Interesting. Homeless people are very interesting to watch, <laughs> especially when they, uh, you know, I, I've you know, wa- watched. What's this video? Um, this guy, you know, the Fuji is a band. Yeah. Uh, Prague, and they have a video on the Fuji. He actually did he did a documentary on him becoming homeless. Really? Yeah. If you Google Prague, I think it's P R A S documentary becoming homeless, you might find it. P R A S. Yeah, he's from the Fuji. I'm gonna, I'm gonna type that in now. I know you know the Fuji. I saw that iPod video of yours, and you have Ace of Base and DMX. Oh yeah, <laughs> I've probably got about uh, seventeen, probably twenty-one or twenty-two thousand MP3s on my laptop. Oh. I'm late for, but I'm so glad that you got in touch with me. And then this is your phone number, right? This is your home number? Yep, this is my cell phone. All right, cool. So Let- I will send you this email now. Okay. And let's try to set something up. Even if your sister doesn't want to do it, 
let's just Skype next week. You know, you have tons of video. Like, I just want to meet you kind of, you know, oh, yeah. face to face as we can for now. Yeah. And then, you know, I'd love to just pass your videos around the team and, and see what we can do with you because you had us laughing. You had me and my boyfriend laughing. Great. Laugh. That's awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. So, you know, great job on the videos and um, let's just plan on talking next week. Okay. It was great talking to you. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. My sister ain't gonna like this shit. Folks, I guess that call was legit. And uh, we can forget this shit. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna edit out all the names and addresses and phone numbers, email addresses and phone numbers to the people I contacted so you can't hear it just to protect them and that uh, protects me. So thanks for watching this very long video. I'm sure it was a very, very long video, but it's very, very interesting to know that uh, people in TV networks are checking me out and they think that I'm worthy of doing something good for a worldwide television network. It's awesome. Let's see what happens. I have to think about this because I'm pretty much overwhelmed by it. And uh, just, <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Exactly what I'm saying. Wow.